All right, welcome back, everybody. Okay, so this chapter is all about percents. The first thing we have to be able to do is to link fractions, decimals, and percents to be able to use them properly. So a percent, by definition, is the ratio of a number to 100. Percent means per 100. So percents can be written as fractions. If I have 65%, that means I got 65 over 100. Percents are a very special fraction. Every percent has a denominator of 100. Therefore, if I have 65%, that gets me 65 over 100. And of course, every fraction can always be simplified, so it would become 13 over 20. 36%, why don't you give it a shot? All right, I'm back. So 36% is 36 over 100. Can you simplify it? Yes, divide by 4, divide by 4, and I get 9 over 25. 130%, well, that's again, by definition, that's 130 over 100, and then can I simplify it? Yep, I get 13 over 10, which is an answer I will take. Or I would also take 1 and 3 tenths. 2.5%, you guessed it, over 100. However, there's the rule, no decimals allowed in a numerator or a denominator. Therefore, we need to be able to clear that decimal. We'll multiply it by 10. I get 25 over 1,000. And can I simplify it? You bet I can. Becomes 1 over 40. So percents can also be written as decimals. So here we go. How do I write 17% as a decimal? Well, it's 17 over 100, which is 17 hundredths, which can also be written as 0.17 or 17 hundredths. 24% is 24 over 100, which could also be written as a decimal, 24 hundredths. Have you noticed that when you are dividing any number by 100, it's equivalent to moving the decimal point of the numerator two places to the left. Therefore, the decimal place is right here on 24, and we move it two spaces to the left, one, two, and that's how we get 0.24, or 24 hundredths. You try. Gets me 0.53. Notice, dividing by 100 made it move one, two spaces to the left. Can you get what this one would be? I'll give you a hint. It moves one, and two spaces to the left. And you get your answer. You try. Oh, sorry. <laughs> uh, let's see, now I'm going from decimals to percents. So if I have 84 hundredths here, if I write it as a fraction, it makes it very obvious to what my percent would be. Because whenever you have a denominator of 100, the numerator is the percent. All right, what do I have here? I have 431 thousandths. But I need the denominator to be 100, so I divide by 10 and divide by 10, and I get 43.1 over 100. And so that is the number that is my percent. Now, have you started to notice a pattern yet? Notice. An easier way to change a decimal to a percent is to move the decimal spaces two places to the right and then add the percent sign. You try it. Let me help you. Move it one, two spaces to the right, so 73 percent. Point three, I move it one, two spaces to the right, which is easier to think about this way, and I get 30 percent. So if I tell you 7 out of 10 problems will get this problem right, what percent of the students get the problem correct? Well, 7 out of 10 is a fraction. However, percents are a very special fraction that only have 100 as the denominator. So how can we get to the 100 as a denominator? Multiply it by 7 and get 70%. All right. So if you have any questions, please feel free to let me know. And you guys have a great night.